Martin Scorsese's creative genius continues to shape the music world with two exciting new film projects. First, Beatles 64, an all-new documentary about the Beatles' first trip to America, will premiere November 29th on Disney+. Plus. Produced by Scorsese and directed by David Tedeschi, the film showcases never-before-seen footage of the Fab Four, including live performances from their Washington Coliseum concert and appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show. The footage, restored in 4K, features interviews with Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and fans whose lives were changed by Beatlemania. Coinciding with the release of Beatles 64, Ample Corpse Limited will issue a new vinyl box set of seven American Beatles albums cut from the original master mono tapes, titled The Beatles 1964 U.S. Albums in Mono. This collection will be available globally on November 22nd, with individual titles up for pre-order now. Adding to the buzz, Scorsese is also returning to the concert film genre with Life is a Carnival, a musical celebration of Robbie Robertson. The concert event honoring the late musician's legacy will take place tonight, October 17, 2024, at the Kia Forum. Scorsese's involvement is especially fitting given the history with Robertson, most notably directing The Last Waltz, the seminal 1976 farewell concert of the band, which became one of the most acclaimed concert films ever made. Scorsese and Robertson continued across numerous films, with Robertson serving as musical supervisor and composer for works like Casino, The Departed, and Killers of the Flower Moon. Life as a Carnival features an all-star house band including Ryan Bigham, Jamie Johnson, and members of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. They'll join a stellar lineup of artists such as Eric Clapton, Trey Anastasio, Van Morrison, Warren Haynes, Bruce Hornsby, Mike Campbell, and more, to perform a selection of Robertson's iconic solo songs and hits from the band. This event also marks a significant return to the Forum 50 years after it hosted Bob Dylan and the band on their legendary 1974 tour, which celebrated Dylan's return to the stage after an eight-year hiatus. Many of Robertson's greatest works were immortalized on the live album Before the Flood during this era. Scorsese's involvement in both Beatles 64 and Life as a Carnival exemplifies his unmatched ability to capture pivotal moments in music history. With these two projects, he offers both a nostalgic reflection on the Beatles' impact and a heartfelt tribute to a personal friend and musical icon, Robbie Robertson. Scorsese has directed several notable music films. Some of his most acclaimed work focuses on rock legends. Here's a quick summary of his major music projects. The Last Waltz in 1978 a documentary about the farewell concert of the band, No Direction Home, 2005, a deep dive into Bob Dylan's early career and rise to fame, Shine a Light, 2008, a film capturing a Rolling Stones concert at the Beacon Theater in New York with backstage footage and performances alongside special guests, Rolling Thunder Review, a Bob Dylan story, 2019, a creative blend of fact and fiction chronicling Bob Dylan's 1975 tour, Scorsese's musical films are celebrated not only for capturing live performances, but for providing intimate insights to the lives and careers of iconic musicians. His ability to blend storytelling with music makes these films enduring cultural artifacts. We look forward to seeing Scorsese's unique storytelling once again, bringing these historic events to life, blending music culture and history in ways only he can. Both releases are sure to be a must-watch experience for music lovers everywhere. That's all for now, and we thank you for watching Rock Buzz.